Okay, to start this PowerPoint, we're going to talk about mycoplasma pneumoniae. So what we'll cover here is going to be the physiology and structure, pathogenesis and immunity, epidemiology, lab DX, and RX. So the, um, what we're going to see here is the mycoplasma organisms are the smallest free-living bacteria, so they're very, very small. They do not have cell walls, and their membranes contain sterols. The absence of the cell, cell wall renders the mycoplasmas resi resistant to penicillins, vancomycin, and other cell wall synthesizing bacteria antibiotics. Um, this, is, this is very problematic for some doctors, or some doctors uh, getting a diagnosis. Um, the mycoplasmas form pleomorphic shapes from coxoid forms to rods, and with their size, they can pass through filters used to remove bacteria from solutions. So this is also very problematic in containing. So continued, um, they divide, uh, I put my, but I'm, meant by binary fission. Um, they can grow in artificial cell-free media and contain DNA and RNA. Um, since mycoplasmas do not have a cell wall, the major, major antigenic determinants are membrane glycolipids and proteins. These uh, antigens cross-react with human tissues and other bacteria. So this is just an example of um, what a cross reaction is. Okay, and also, um, this type of bacteria is a strict, um, strict aerobe, so it likes oxygen. And also, since growth is so slow, the generation time being one to six hours, culturing is very difficult um, unless you have an extended incubation time, so a couple of days, even weeks. So pathogenesis and immunity. Mycoplasma pneumoniae is an ex extra cellular pathogen that adheres to the respiratory epithelium by means of specialized attachment structures. Um, the structure consists of a complex of the adhesion proteins, with the P1 adhesion being the most important. So if you look in this photo here, you'll actually see what um, was happening here. So you're seeing attachment to the ciliated mucosal cells right here. Epidemiology. So um, this type of bacteria is a strict human pathogen. Um, so it's not opportunistic and it's not um, commensal. Um, it occurs worldwide throughout the year with no consistent increase in seasonal activity, but there is um, a short spike um, that is very common in summer and fall. And disease is most common in school-aged children and young adults five to, from, from age 5 to 15, although all groups are very susceptible. And there is an estimation of 2 million cases of mycoplasma pneumonia, pneumonia in the U.S. annually. The mo this type of bacteria also colonizes the nose, throat, trachea, and lower airways, and mostly spread from coughing episodes. So I have a photo here, so um, transmission is going to be from coughing or um, any type of liquid or contaminated liquid, I should say. So the DX for mycoplasma pneumonia, so I have a ser serology and other, other methods. So you have complement fixation, enzyme immunoassays, cold agglutination, um, microscopy, culturing, and uh, molecular diagnosis. I'm not going to go over each of these, but if you want to pause the video and uh, if you want to read these for yourself, it is totally up to you. And I got these from a medical microbiology book. So treatment um, is going to be erythromycin, tetracyclines, particularly doxycycline, and fluoroquinolones. Also, you want to avoid close contact with infected individuals and have a good sanitation habits around those who are infected. So I um, just want to keep this video very short. If you want to go back and look at something, um, more than welcome to. And thank you for watching.